Mr. and Mrs. Underwood, according to the court documents, you are suing the Thorntons for injuries that Mr. Underwood sustained when he was on the Thorntons property. You're asking this court to award you $200,000 for medical bills, $600,000 for lost wages, $1 million for pain and suffering for a total award of $1.8 million. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. and Mrs. Thornton, you all believe that Mr. Underwood was in the wrong place at the wrong time and his injuries are his fault. True? Yes. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Honor. All right, well, let's get into the legal sauce. Now, what brought you to the Thornton's property this day? I worked as a delivery man for a big box store. Okay. It's a very demanding job, and uh, we go out no matter what, rain or shine. The day I was out at the defendant's home, I was delivering a flat screen television. Mr. and Mrs. Thornton, you were expecting a delivery this day, right? We were, Your Honor. Uh, we've lived in our house for 20 years, raised our whole family in that house. Yeah, we're responsible homeowners. And now that our two kids are off to college, I was turning uh, the, my daughter's old room into a man cave. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a good thing. You, you know, the TV he was delivering actually was uh, for this new space. Mr. Underwood, so tell me what happened. How did you get hurt? Your Honor, the day of the incident, it was extremely windy earlier in the day, and it was raining on and off. I was uh, nearing the end of my delivery route when I arrived at the defendant's home around 5.30. I rang the doorbell, no one answered. I looked at the front porch as a potential place to leave the package, but it was already wet. And uh, I, was, I was concerned that the, the front porch was exposed to the street and potential theft. It was a flat screen television. All right. The back porch was uh, better protected and shielded against the weather, so I decided to leave the package there. I placed the package on the, the back porch. I turned to leave and I heard this horrible ripping sound. I look up and I see this massive tree and tree house toppling over, coming right at me. Your Honor, it was surreal. I tried to move, but the tree house crushed me. So the tree and the tree house fell on you. I was, I was completely crushed. My whole entire left side was pinned underneath it. Oh, wow. My left arm was completely crushed. Oh. My left shoulder was bleeding profusely. Oh. My left leg was broken. My shin snapped like a toothpick. Oh. Bone was protruding from below my skin, Your Honor. Mr. Underwood, you submitted an animation to this court so you could explain what happened. That's correct, Your Honor. We're going to put it up on the plasma here. I want you to go over and take your time. Thank you. And uh, tell me how this happened. When I arrived to the home, as I mentioned, I went to the, the door, rang the doorbell. No one's there. I walked around to the back, and I found the back porch, and I left the package there. As I turned to leave, that's when I heard the ripping sound. And I looked up, and I saw the tree in the treehouse coming right down on me. I was about here, Your Honor. And that tree house and tree fell on your body. That's correct, Your Honor. I, my left side of my body was pinned underneath that tree house. And you lost your arm and nearly lost your leg. And nearly my life. Oh. Thank you, sir. You may return to the podium. Thank you, Your Honor. Take your time. We weren't home when this happened. He shouldn't have been in our backyard. He had no business being there. Well, well hold on for a minute. Let me give everybody a legal lesson. When you are a landowner, safety doesn't leave when you leave. Safety still applies. Your property must be safe. Now, I'll figure out as to this case, but generally, just because you're not on the property doesn't mean you don't have the duty to keep your property safe. What the plaintiff has actually failed to mention is that he accessed our backyard through a gate. Through an unlocked we gate, We have a Your fence Honor. and a gate for a reason. It means stay out. Mr. Thornton, could you cross over and show me where this gate is that you're talking about? I'd be happy to, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Again, he conveniently left out the fact that he accessed our backyard through this gate. He left it out of his testimony, and he left it out of his diagram. You see, he hasn't even labeled the gate that he went through to trespass into our backyard, which led to his injuries, Your Honor. This is the gate. It was latched. He opened it and accessed our property. And you believe he should not have been in your backyard? Absolutely, Your Honor. Y'all wanted him to leave your TV out on the front he stoop? Yeah, he should have just left it on the front porch or behind a bush. He, yeah. he endangered himself by entering our backyard. If he Look, hadn't been there, he never would have been injured.